Hi, thank you for tuning in to Temple Reef's Insight Series, where we talk about the technology of our rod design. Our Temple Reef rods are stronger and lighter than many of the competitors in the market. And in this episode, we will show you some insider secrets as to how we do our design and engineering to make them so. Fishermen all over the world are seeking lighter and stronger equipment. I mean, nobody wants to use a rod that's heavy and cumbersome. Using a lighter rod will also help with sensitivity, performance and efficiency. It is easy to make rods stronger simply by using more layers of prepack carbon, but that will make a rod significantly heavier. Likewise, it's easier to shave weight by using less material, but that could make the rod weak and inadequate for its use. We are obsessed with making the best possible rods here at Temple Reef. We are always researching practical enhancements to make our rods better and lighter. Now, these enhancements are so subtle that you will never ever notice them. Now, but today, in this episode, we will show you how it's done. Let's now take a look at the light butt joint design. This is a levitate, one of our slow pitch jigging rods, and this is the blank on which the levitate is built. If you look closely, there are three parts to this blank. First, the main body of the rod, the butt section, and a coupling to splice the two together. Traditionally, butt sections were made in one piece and they had to be thick to allow the main section of the blank to be inserted. At Temple Reef, instead of accepting this traditional method of construction, we designed a sleeve to join two sections together. The reason we did this is to reduce the diameter of this part of the butt section which means using less material here and hence reducing weight as compared to this. This method of construction is good for rods that are designed to be fished from under the arm, like slow pitch jigging rods that generally do not require much strength in the butt. Yeah. But this method of construction will not work for heavy jigging rods that are designed to be fished from the hip or from a gimbal. Now let's look at the heavier butt joint design. This is applied on our heavy casting or jigging rods where weight reduction is very important because the rod is always in your hand for hours whether you're casting or jigging or fighting a fish. The butt section of these rods need to be strong so we cannot use the sleeve method of construction. However, here at Temple Reef, we designed another way to build the rods so that we can keep the butt strong and yet save weight at the same time. The secret is a reverse tapered butt joint. Let me give you an illustration. Here, we have a traditional butt joint and below it, a reverse tapered butt section. In the traditional design, you can see that the butt section is larger than the joint area. This is because in the manufacturing process, sheets of carbon fibre are wrapped around a mandrel. And after the carbon fibre is cured, the mandrel has to be pulled out from the back of the rod. In our quest to engineer even lighter rods, we have a patent pending design for a butt section that is reversed. In other words, it tapers in the opposite direction. Here we see an overlay of the reverse butt section and the traditional design. The shaded portion here in red represents the difference in diameter and also the difference in the amount of material used between the two designs. This results in a massive weight savings for the reverse tapered joint method. Furthermore, now at the joint, there is more material, hence reinforcing the joint itself. These are some of the subtle and hidden secrets that we use to engineer our rods here at Temple Reef to make them lighter and stronger. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe for more updates.